One of my favorite meals growing up. We have Spam, fried egg, white rice, and then we always have greens. So cucumber and lettuce today for the greens. Looks so good. I'm watching a YouTube video. I tend to watch a lot of Vietnamese mukbangers and Korean mukbangers, so she's probably one of my favorites. I like her. It's the Hoyer family, and she does videos all in Vietnamese, and it brings a little bit of home. She lives in Michigan, though, but it's really cool to see her life. I showed you guys what I ate earlier. I started eating because I was so hungry. I realized I didn't eat anything all day. Carlos and I had breakfast together, but it didn't really fill me up. I didn't eat that much in the morning. This is so good, you guys. I feel like the most simple meals are absolutely delicious. And cutting the spam up in small pieces is the way to go. Oh my God. And as always, the rice is just perfect. Mm. What I do is I get some egg, get some spam, you guys have to try this meal at home. Try to get the Spam with less sodium. It still has flavor, still a little salty, but not that salty. You don't need to get the original Spam. It's just way too salty for me. Mmm. Lettuce? Mmm. Oh my god. Oh no. Let's do it again. It's so good. I did not season the egg because the Spam already has all the flavor, all the salt, no seasoning on the egg, and then we have the freshness of the greens, plain jasmine white rice. I use the three lady brand. So here we have the Spam and some rice. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Sometimes I'll even scoop the rice onto here. Scoop some rice, get some Spam, little egg, little egg, little egg. Oh my God, are we gonna fit this in our mouth? What's going on here? Okay, ready? Bon appetitis. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. If you're wondering, Carlos had Jack in the Box for dinner. He was like, I'm craving a burger. And I was like, I'm gonna save some money and I'm gonna eat some, some childhood meals. I've been really into cooking at home. We used to Postmate all the time in our last place, but ever since moving here, before I Postmate, I always look in the pantry and in the fridge. One, we might have leftovers, and two, I wanna save money and cook at home. But Carlos, he has such, a, such an American taste bud. He just loves like Jack's and Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out. I think we're gonna get a grill pretty soon and um, start making some burgers. I'm excited. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. It's so pretty outside. The boys are outside. Um, lighting in the house is absolutely beautiful. We are going to make coffee today. And I'm very excited because I got another one of this is my favorite. And then my best friend Brooke said I need to get this. And then I also got this because you guys said that this was just as good as the other one. The Italian Sweet Cream Coffee Mate. I'm gonna do this for Carlos and then I'll do this for me because I think I nailed a coffee recipe and I'm gonna share it with you guys right now. I'm so excited. I cannot hide it. I'm losing control. I gotta figure out what coffee I used yesterday. Wait, hang on, Bianca. Okay, I used Votesso and Bianca Leggero. Votesso, Bianca Leggero. Try saying that wrong. Oh my God, I don't know if I have any more. I have Bianca Leggero, but I don't have any more but the Votesso. Oh, you guys, I have to order more. I guess we can try this one today. A subscriber left a comment and said that I should always pump first. So we'll do one of that. And one pump of that. I'm gonna make Carlos's first. For Carlos, I'm going to try the Coffee Mate Italian Sweet Cream. <gasps> oh! Okay, so I'm using this. We're gonna add a little bit of creamer at the bottom. I should use measuring cups. Okay, this is one tablespoon. Oh. So we'll do two. And then pour the coffee in. And then we'll do some milk.
too much coffee. This is creamer, right? Why do I feel like that isn't as good? I feel like this is just way better. Yeah, we still like this way more, way more. Okay, let's do mine. So we already have a pump of the French vanilla from the brand Terrani. So let's do one more pump, so two pumps. Let's do two pumps of that. And you know what? We're gonna try, Carlos, we did something different. I gotta buy the original one. See, maybe this is not a good video to share my recipe because what I made yesterday required a different pod and I ran out of it because they only sent me one for a sample so I'm going to go for this pod today so we're gonna put that in at the bottom I'm gonna use one two three let me do what all the tiktokers do I'm still learning so y'all be nice to me this thing comes out really easily I'm not even squeezing it Pretty. Okay. And then I'm going to mix it with Bianco. This one. This one. Oi. Cool, cool. I'm gonna get ice. Okay. Do one more, so four. Cool. We have Carlos's and then we have mine. Okay, we're not going as light anymore with the creamer. I'm kind of getting the swing of things. I see, you know, I'm educating myself. I get it. Just because I want a little fun. It doesn't taste like last night because um, I ran out of one of the pods. Still pretty good though. You like it? Mm -hmm. The boys want coffee. <laughs> too stiff. The, the blankets that we saw, they're just like flimsy. They're like floating. So I think best case scenario, we might have to just fold it and put it on the side. Cause that kills me a little. No. That just looks like it has dandruff. No, I don't like that. Okay, let's just fold it and hang it off the side. Cause I thought that was kind of cute. Ooh, you want to do like that? That's kind of cute. Like this? Yeah. Do you like that? That's no? the other way out. Or do you want to fold it one more time? Ooh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. That's better. I feel like that's better now. Thoughts? I like it. Yeah. I mean, it's better than the other ones. Oh, that's nice. Yeah? I think so. Cute? Mm-hmm. Very cash. Yeah. That's I better. like it. You think? That's better. Come, come look. Yeah, that's better. You yeah. like? Uh-huh. You guys, look at this new mug. It's a cup. I mean, it's a bowl. Carlos is making his own coffee today. Drinking it straight. What? Just kidding. What the hell? Wait. Oh.
Oh shit. Damn. Like it? Yeah. Oh nice. Ooh. That's yummy. Mm -hmm. I like that. And I usually don't like hot drinks. Oh, well, that's good. Hello. I just wanted to have a chat with you guys because I feel like this vlog is like all over the place. It makes no freaking sense. I basically started vlogging this on Thursday. Is today Saturday? Yeah, today's Saturday. See, I don't even know my days. So I started vlogging on Thursday and then I vlogged a little bit on Friday and then I'm vlogging a little bit today. Just a lot going on, a lot of things outside of work. Nothing bad, I promise, nothing bad at all. It's just a lot of things going on. So I just could not pick up the camera and focus on that. So I did get like snippets here and there. And yesterday we got a lot of cleaning done and honestly, it's so hard to unpack and clean while thinking about vlogging because I, I noticed that I work way faster if I don't have to turn on the camera and like pay attention to that even though I really want to show you guys the organizational stuff and all that but I guess what I'm trying to say is after living here for two months now it feels so good to just focus on unpacking because we got so much done yesterday and today I'm probably gonna get a lot more things done I'm so excited because honestly it's just our master bedroom that's left um, we have to fill up our closet and then little knickknacks and we should be done and the master should be done soon. I decided, I don't know if you guys remember, but in a few vlogs back, I told you guys that I wasn't happy with the curtains. I decided to get new curtains. I went with the same one that we have in our living room and dining area. So that is coming on Wednesday. So Carlos will change that out. And then as you guys saw, we moved the chair out here. I think it's so cute. It makes the living room area look so cozy because without it, I feel like the living room without the rug was looking too magazine-ish. Um, not saying that my house is like that pretty to be in a magazine, it's definitely not. But it was looking too like article, like too, I don't know, too polished. It, did, it didn't look... It didn't look livable, and I want our home to look livable and warm and welcoming. I don't want it to look like too not livable. So that is what's going on. And then, like I said today, I think I'm just gonna attack the master closet or the master bedroom and the closet in there. And I'm so excited because we got a few new things for the master bedroom to tie everything together. I was gonna get a vanity, I decided not to. I'm just gonna do my makeup in the bathroom or in my studio. But yeah, very exciting things going on. This week is very, very busy, and I'm very excited for tomorrow because uh, in tomorrow's vlog. Jocelyn and Brian are finally dropping off the console for behind the couch so I can deck that out. I ordered a bunch of stuff to decorate it. And then Carlos's TV stand is coming tomorrow. Brian is going to mount it for him. So tomorrow's an exciting day. Tonight I am going to probably share with you guys I've never done this in like the six years I've been on YouTube, share my like nighttime shower routine. So I think I might do that tonight because I don't think I'm gonna vlog too much of the organiz organizing the bedroom because it might be too much. Okay, so you guys know how last week we did the DIY thing with the vases? This, ah, oh my God. Here you go, where we spray painted it and left it there so to be cute. We're gonna do another one, but this time I'm doing this cream color. I want to put it on my coffee table. So we're gonna do the same thing, but spray it that, and then I think I'm gonna spray another one. I have another jar here. These are so inexpensive. They're really big and a nice material. They're 20 bucks at Target, but unfortunately, I think that they're sold out because I cannot find them because I really want another one for the master bedroom. This is like my dream vase. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This time I'm gonna do it a little bit thicker. Last time we only did like maybe a quarter of the base. This time I might, I kind of want to do like even half. Yeah, I think that's good right there. Cause I feel like um, with the, when I spray painted the black, I didn't do it thick enough. So when you poured water and the water line goes over the spray painted part, it looked really weird. color to do. I think I'll do another black, but like a thick black. The black one's really pretty. Okay, we'll do like 
This is literally the easiest DIY ever and it's so satisfying and pretty. I really have been enjoying looking at this vase. <laughs> you wanna make sure that this part is really important because you want that line. Oop, see, I already messed up. You want that line to be like super crisp. Okay, so I'm gonna go outside and spray paint. So basically you want to, I already said this in another video, but in case you're new to the channel, hello. So I got this uh, mini spray paint can, I believe at Michael's, if you don't wanna commit to like a bigger size. And then they also sell like the bigger sizes. So now you just choose your color and you have everything prepped. You just spray paint this part and then you let it dry upside down like this and in about like six hours, to be just to guarantee that nothing is going to be messed up, you can unwrap it and then you'll have your vase. So I'm gonna go do it on the side of the house and I'll show you the finished product later. Hello friends, we are in my bedroom. We're gonna start organizing the nightstands. Finally, I'm so excited. I'm gonna try to get as much organizing footage as possible, but I feel like I mentioned earlier when I don't have the camera by me, I feel like I work faster. But I wanted to share this with you guys. I got this, oh, you have some hair on you. I got this, these organizational storage bins from Target for $6. I don't know if $6 is expensive for a bin like this but it's really good material and it's quite big and these fit perfectly in our nightstands we have three of them in each drawer and they're perfect for underwear socks brawls sports brawls you can even fold your like pajamas up and tuck them in so they're organized so the clear one is for Carlos and then for me I got three black ones these are called what are they called these are called um, storage baskets and I believe they're called like Y Weave or something, like Y Weave or something on Target. I'll link it down below for you guys, but $6, medium size, very, very nice and hefty. So we're gonna organize the drawers. They fit perfectly in the drawers. So Carlos is gonna put underwear and then socks and then whatever he wants to that is essential because we don't have drawers in our walk-in closet. Our walk-in closet is all hanging stuff. So then his PJs can go like the second drawer and the third drawer as well. Alrighty friends, today is the day we are going to wash the hair. Um, I wash my hair, not often, because you're not supposed to, from what every single stylist has said. You're not supposed to wash your hair often. I am wearing these today, so I'm gonna put them over here. Um, I think everybody's hair routine is different because it depends on how oily your hair gets. So if you're somebody who has really oily hair, you're obviously supposed to wash it more than once. But for me, uh, once and then maximum twice a week is good enough. So today is one of those days. We are going to take out the braids. There we go. It's just so easy lately with my hair in braids when I do stuff. It's not in a pony or um, in a bun, so it doesn't hurt my head. We are using shampoo and conditioner that my stylist gave me. Lindsay gave me this shampoo. And then she also gave me this conditioner here. So we are trying this. I was using L'Oreal for a while, and then I was using Function of Beauty, but then you had to order that, and that was kind of inconvenient. But now Function of Beauty is at Target, so that's a little bit more convenient. But Function of Beauty is really cool because you can take a quiz and curate your shampoo and conditioner. I'm just gonna use this because I do have tape and extensions and there are actually certain shampoos that will ruin your tape and extensions, whether that's breaking the hair or the tape and the tape and glue, I believe. So I just basically listen to whatever the stylist says. And then also I wanted to share this with you guys. I got a pack of these razors at Target. 
Sorry if I seem so tired, I'm like actually exhausted because we have a very busy day tomorrow and today we did a lot in the bedroom. And so hopefully after Monday, my life can be a little bit more relaxed, but right now things are just really busy. But anywho, I got these. I chopped my nails by the way. <laughs> I got these at Target. They're the Gillette, is it Gillette or Gillette? Gillette Daisy Classics. They come in a pack like this. They are so, so sharp, you guys. I usually don't use this. I use actually like a men's razor because I heard that it's sharper than women's razors. But when we were moving, um, when we were moving here like two months ago, I couldn't locate my shaver. So I picked this up at Target and I was very, very impressed with how sharp it is. So I'm gonna take my hair apart and then that is what I'm using. Oh, my body wash is the Olay, but I have to go get that. It's the Olay in the big container. It has like the sparkles on it. That is the body wash that I use. And then I always wash my face in the shower as well, which I'm tonight I'm just gonna use clean and clear. And then once I get out of the shower, we can, I really wanna exfoliate, but I can't locate my exfoliator, so. Once I get out of the shower, we'll do the skincare routine and then we have some editing and some emails to answer and then it'll be bedtime. I need to go to bed early tonight or try to get as much sleep as possible because tomorrow is a very, very, very busy day. Also, I just got this brush from the Dollar Tree, literally only a dollar. And whenever I put conditioner in, I don't rinse it right away. I just put it at like probably this way down. And then I use a brush to brush it through. I have a Y comb brush as well. I believe that that one is better for you, but I just saw this brush at the Dollar Tree and you know, your girl was trying to save some bucks. So like I bought this one and it's really good. But yeah, I like to brush through the conditioner like this in the shower. Obviously we can't bring the camera in there with us, you know, so I'll see you after. I'm warming up the water right now and then I'm gonna hop right in, but I wanted to show you underwear. If you guys are looking for good underwear that doesn't feel like anything and you don't really see it and it just, you, it feels like you're not wearing underwear at all. This is from the brand Uniqlo and it's called their Air Rhythm underwear right here. This right here, I, I wear an extra large. This is such good underwear. Okay, I gotta go. I forgot to show you guys the vases. This one turned out so good. Look at the cream color, you guys. Doesn't it go well with the living room? I love this. I love that you can't really see the water and all that nasty stuff at the bottom whenever you like put flowers or plants in like a glass vase. I love it. It's so cute. Such an aesthetic. Saves so much money. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look how cute it is. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love. The other one I decided to put here, the black one. And then the old one that I made, I put in the bedroom, which let me show you guys. Hello, I love you. The chair. Let me show you guys in the bedroom. We are changing out the curtains this week and then an olive tree is coming. I ordered one with like the cutest pot ever. Basically the same one in the living room but in black. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put some flowers in here but this is my nightstand. Here, let me turn this down so you guys can see. Cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, I found these little, I don't know what they're called. These little wire holders on Amazon. It was a huge pack and that way I won't lose my charger. Isn't that so cute? This is Carlos' side. He likes his simple. He hates like clutter and stuff, but he has the same wire holders here. I'll link those down below for you guys, but yeah. And we're not too sure what we're doing here. I think I want to keep this section of the house pretty simple because I want all of the attention to go towards the water coloring of the four dogs. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I got this done on Etsy. I'll link it down below. If you guys are interested, you can put it in order. Small business on Etsy. Support small businesses, you guys. It took about like three or four weeks for it to arrive, but it was so worth it. So beautiful. So yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do in this section. I think I'm gonna keep it simple, like I said. Maybe a vase of some sort and then maybe a few books. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, leave a comment down below. Oh, I love you so much. We gotta tidy up. I have my skincare. Skin is looking glowy. I feel good. I'm gonna go um, look over a video that's going up tomorrow and then watch a little Designated Survivor. I'm wearing a crop top so I gotta be so careful because literally, yeah. 
side boob action, you know? I love you guys so much. I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. I know this video is all over the place, but you know, there are gonna be some vlogs that don't make sense and some vlogs that you're just like, wow, this made no sense and nothing happened and it's boring. You just can't have exciting days every day of your life, you know? Some days it's just like not exciting at all, but this weekend was just very, very busy. But I love you guys. Ooh. Hello, skin. Hello. Hi. We love this camera. Whoa. This camera's very clear. Oh my god, I gotta toot my eyebrows. I love you guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye.